Brickhead fans, feeling you. I hope everyone had an incredibly blessed Thanksgiving. Your turkey was moist and delicious, but most important, you and the familia traded tales and the love and the harmonia and the tranquilidad. Give love to UCLA. They own the Ciudad. They are the kings of the city. In that wild game at the Coliseum, 60 minutes of maniacal effort, the mad death energy. You saw me at the Bruin Bash. It was wild, threw down the warrior haikus, the whole thing. It was a day to remember for UCLA football fans, their first win in 16 years at the Coliseum. But talk about yin-yang of the city. While the Bruins are cavelling and celebrating their incredible victory, the domination of Troy, USC flips their head coaches, Ed Ogeron, who was sensational. The people's favorite, the fans' favorite, but apparently not Pat Hayden's favorite. He goes to the Sark, Steve Sarkisian, who has Trojan blood, who went to West High School in Torrance, who has the DNA of Pete Carroll. But still, what's he done in Washington? Won a couple of Pac-12 games, got to a crappy bowl game. This over Ed Ogeron. Ed's quit. Ed said adios. I don't like the way Coach O was treated. Number one, he should have had a much more integral role in the transition period, if not the head coaching gig itself. This is a disrespect of Ed Ogeron, who's been there for USC, knows the way of Troy, lived the way of Troy, and he's treated like garbage as he's adios, and he says adios to USC. It just feels sleazy to me. So the USC, Hayden, Coach O deserve more respect. He deserved the gig. You see the brick. He won more Pac-12 games, six, than Sarkeesian never did in Washington, five. So you're going by numbers, Eddie O had a better record in Pac-12 play. Anyway, you see the brick. Hey, you freaks.